Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel, All About BA. In this video, we are going to see how do we use um, Azure SDK for Python. Uh, normally, why do we want to use uh, Azure SDK? That's what I'm going to tell you now. Um, see, basically, if we want to work with pipelines, we will create a data factory using Azure portal and the UI. And once data factory is created, we will create pipelines, followed by that we will add activities to the pipeline. This is what we normally do, but manually. In, in case you want to do it programmatically, you can either uh, choose Python or .NET or PowerShell, uh, whichever is supported. All right. So in this video, I'm going to take you through the code that is given in Microsoft documentation for creating data factory, pipeline, link services, data sets and a copy activity and how to run that and monitor everything programmatically. Okay. Um, I, I'll just uh, show you how to start with. So just type create data factory using python azure sdk the first link will be the step by step guidance for working with azure sdk for python what are the prerequisites that is what we will first see we need uh, an azure account of course and then we need python 3.6 and above all right if you don't have just click on this download the executable and uh, um, install it all right and then an azure account so why an azure account is in this example, what we are going to do is, in Azure account, we will have a container and inside that an input and output folder. Inside input folder, we will have a file which we will copy to output folder. That is what we are going to do in this demo. That is why we need an Azure storage account. And uh, Explorer is optional as they have given it, okay, because we can upload the file uh, using portal itself, Azure portal itself. All right, and then an application in Azure Active Directory. Uh, this part I will cover a little later okay okay so the first step in uh, doing the demo is to create and upload an input file this i have already done because this is pretty much uh, easy step right uh, we have to use a data lake storage uh, i call it sa adl 89 inside the data lake storage i have a container called adf v2 tutorial inside that i have input and output folders okay uh, i just have input folder output folder will be created on the fly so inside input folder i have a simple file called input.txt that is what they have asked us to do in the first place and then install python package once you have installed python executable then you will have to install certain libraries which is the dependencies uh, for the program that we are going to write okay so you can copy the uh, pip statement from these three boxes and you can uh, run it from the terminal or command from wherever i mean whatever uh, os you are using based on that okay if you are using mac go to terminal and run these command in the python uh, um, in, in installation directory or from the uh, root directory as well okay and then once you install these uh, dependencies we can straight away go and uh, start using them these are the uh, libraries or modules that we need to run our program okay so i'm just copying this putting into a blank python um, program okay I'll, I'll simply use an idle I call it python sdk okay I'm just copying and pasting I'm not making any changes uh, so once we have imported the required modules we can um, copy this part of the code which is a helper function okay uh, for printing certain details of the components that we have created so I'm just copying and pasting I'm not making any modifications here and then followed by that the main function this is the definition of main function i'll tell you what it is having this is a very simple block of the main function okay wherein we tell what is our subscription id what is the resource group in which we want to uh, create our pipeline in or if that particular resource group is not there it will be created for us okay so for now i will mention rg demo test okay data factory name it should be unique globally okay my data factory so bar. and then uh, for this purpose only so we need to mention client id client secret and tenant id so for this uh, purpose only we have to create and um, we have to register an application in the prerequisites i showed you right the last point we have to have an uh, application in azure Di active directory this is what i'm going to do now go to home app registrations 
click on new registration inside that this is a very uh, simple uh, application registration process just a placeholder kind of okay my test application i'll say my test app and then uh, supported account types who can use this application or access this api i'll say accounts in any organization directory this is not having any uh, details and all it's not uh, um, uh, a live application or something this is a placeholder so i just say accounts in any organizational directory can use my application okay and then i'll say register once this process is done we will get a client id tenant id and a client secret okay this is client id this is tenant id and then we have to have a client secrets created from this portion okay so once we have that i can copy paste those values here here and here now okay so i'll do one by one uh, client id i'll first copy and then i'll go to this portion and replace tenant id here and then client secret so for client secrets i'll go to certificates and secrets and click on new client secret i will say test secret okay add once i click add i'll be seeing the value of the secret which is created i'll again copy that to clipboard and i'll paste that here so this portion is done once we are done with this we have to do one more thing with respect to this particular um application okay we have to go to our uh, subscription and inside that subscription i have to uh, give permission to the app that we created that's what i'm going to do now click on the subscription uh, that you have already have and then from there we click on access control iam okay inside my subscription i have gone into iam and then i will add role assignment all right so uh, i can go to privileged administrator role i will choose contributor role and then i will have to choose the members here member is nothing but uh, the application that we registered now my test app that is what we created now so i am just selecting that and then i will say review and assign okay once this is done i will be giving uh, contributor access uh, for my application okay Uh, so that my application can work with or uh, my application can access um, uh, the folders and files that are in the azure storage account okay so i will just say add assignment it will be creating an assign uh, role for us and assign contributor access and once this is done we are good to go with the other steps in the demo okay so um in the main function we have already given client id tenant id and everything and i will replace the subscription id little later okay rest of the things i have given and uh, we have to start proceeding with the data factory creation now i'll go to the code again here i'm just pasting the create a data factory portion and then i'll proceed to create a link service so once data factory is created the next step is to create a link service so i am doing that now and here we need to do one thing so what that is basically we create a link service against a storage account okay so we need to give the connection string of our storage account so that where from where we get us we will go to the azure portal and then we can go to the storage account inside the storage account we can go to um access keys in the access key you can say show in the connection string and copy the full connection string i'm just copied i, I just copied and i'll paste the complete um, connection string here okay and then going back to my uh, documentation page so link service creation is done i'll create two data set one for source one for sync okay because for copy activity we need uh, two data sets right that's what i'm going to do now uh, here we need to change couple of things on us the container name my container name is nothing but uh, adf v2 tutorial adf v2 tutorial and then my folder path is nothing but the input folder if 
file name is nothing but input dot txt that I already have. Okay, that's all. And then uh, sync uh, data uh, sync the creation for sync data set. I'll do this, and then here also we need to uh, use the same container but different folder. I'll replace input with output. Input can be replaced with output that's all okay so we are good to go uh, and the next step is creating a pipeline here we will be creating a pipeline uh, with the copy activity the copy activity name is copy blob to blob its source will be a blob source sync will be a blob sync uh, referring to the data sets that we recently created we created two data sets right it will be referring to that and then it will be creating a pipeline uh, with the activities that uh, we have created which is nothing but the copy activity okay so this part of code i'm just copying and pasting it in my code and then proceeding uh, with the pipeline run we will not run the pipeline now uh, we will not monitor as well uh, instead we will just call the main function and see if the data factory gets created for us we have to uh, create a resource group inside that a data factory inside that a link service and then two data sets um, and a copy activity using those two data sets this is what we have to check if it is working or not okay my uh, python file resides here i will have to replace my subscription id let me do that now subscription id is updated uh, i will go to the terminal to run my uh, code okay i will type terminal and then I'll have to go to uh, the directory where I have kept my python file okay I'll say desktop I have kept it in the desktop so I can run my uh, python code by calling python3 uh, python sdk I think python sdk dot python this will start running my code um, python3 can't open python sdk dot the py python sdk dot py right so it will be running my code let us see if there is any issue if so we can fix it and see how it works it started running the code as you can see here uh, it is creating data factory and uh, we have some issue here it says link service reference uh, of, of argument type is missing so we have to go to the line number 88 and see what's happening all right so link service reference all right here what they say is that this, there is something missing in the documentation part so that is what i wanted to uh, tell you uh, we have to have a parameter here whose type is link service reference similarly we need to do this for data set reference as well otherwise we will have an error here as well this is missing in the documentation uh, i have uh, indicated microsoft as well but let's see uh, for now you can just follow this so once we do this probably our code should work we just clear it once then stk not python And if it has created a resource group, right, we shouldn't be creating again. It will throw error. If it has not created, it will not throw any error. So, it is done. We can go and verify if a resource group called RG demo test has been created. Inside that a pipeline, I mean a data factory, a pipeline and everything. Okay, I will go to the resource group now. So, I have a resource group demo test here. And then... I am seeing my df suba. This is the um, data factory that we have created from code. Inside the data factory, we expect a link service, two data sets, and a copy activity. If that is there, we are good. Okay. In the next video, I will try to implement the same thing for a simple data flow. Um, just for those who want to work with uh, SDK. Okay. Oh, I see a link service being created, and then one pipeline with the copy activity called copy blob to blob it refers to dsin ds out and then two data sets okay so we can also copy the code to run and monitor the pipeline 
so i just want don't want to do that you can try uh, from your end let me know if you have any questions or comments uh, i i'll be glad to answer thanks a lot for watching uh, this will be a starting point for those who want to kick start with the uh, sdk part of uh, uh, azure component creation okay thank you once again uh, keep supporting